Hey, bite. How you going? <laughs> you can see his little pointy nose. Awesome, check this little dude out. The echidna is just out cruising around in the paddock here. And he's put his head down. That's what they do to escape predators and they stick all those quills up in the air and anything that comes along and tries to eat him, he'll basically spike with those quills. He's got a long nose and a really long tongue and super awesome claws and he will rip into termite mounds, logs, bark of trees, and they'll eat all the termites and ants out of there. So they're a monotreme, which is an egg-laying mammal. There's only two species of egg-laying mammal in the world. That's the echidna, and also his cousin, the platypus. Right across Australia, these guys are found, even in the northern areas. And you can see the little nose and his eyes there. Got little eyes. He's primarily nocturnal. For some reason today he's just decided that it's a cool day so he's going to get out and cruise around and see what's going on. One of Australia's unique species. He's got little short stumpy claws and he's got really strong forearms. He can rip into termite mounds, he can rip logs apart. Now he is an indigenous favourite for food as well, bush tucker, the old echidna. So indigenous in Australia have been eating echidna for generations as well but if he tastes anything like he looks <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to eat one and uh, of course he is a native Australian animal so he's protected as well you can see he's just sniffing and it's uh, unusual to see them out walking around in the daylight hours nighttime they'll come out fairly often Hey mate, how you going? Oh, you can see his little pointy nose. There he goes. They'll go down uh, wombat holes as well to escape the heat of the day, or they'll just burrow in. They can use those legs, his front legs and his back legs, and he can burrow basically straight down into the dirt and just have a few quills sticking out as well to escape predators or the heat of the day. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. Not every day you get to see an echidna cruising around out in the daylight hours. So you can see those spines that he's got, a really good camouflage in the grass in particular. And what they do is they cruise along and they use that long nose, proboscis-like nose, to probe into the ground and smell and taste if there's any ants or grubs or termites in the ground for him to have for dinner.
Awesome stuff. Let's go and see what else we can find. is a formidable beast. Whenever you're in the presence with one of these snakes, I'll tell you what, they've got an aura about them. They're just amazing. So thanks for joining us. My name's Corey Wild, and what we're going to bring to you is awesome and beautiful animals from all over the world, like this guy here. So stay tuned and subscribe. Keep it wild. I'll catch you next time.